How's it going everyone? It's John and I've got a review on vPassword, which is a great way to keep track of your passwords. I'm going to get going on vPassword and you can see that the first thing you're prompted with is your pin. So here we go, 2580 right down the middle. And uh, that's great that you have a password on this application because you don't want anybody that gets a hold of your iPhone to be able to just open up the application and get all your password information and account numbers and such. So we got your categories that you start with. You've got web, social, email, just to name a few. And you can have all your passwords here. And I'm going to go into social where I've got Twitter. I don't have my real information here. I do have my username if anyone wants to follow me. One of the things that I think that this app can improve on is to have the text a little bit bigger, maybe improve on the interface a bit, but it does the job and that is to store your password so that you uh, can see here it's got username and, and uh, password. Uh, I can go ahead and edit and I can add different rows which is great so if you want to add different uh, information. So for example if you want to add bank number, account number, routing number and all those different numbers you can have different rows for that. You can also choose your icon. You've got an icon for a lot of the social networks and uh, I use Twitter, you've got YouTube here which we're on so you can have your YouTube password stored in here and it's great for people like me that's got multiple accounts on all these different social channels and uh, often forgetting it and you want to have different passwords usually just to be secure. Another thing that this app has is a built-in browser. It's great to just have on the application so if you have a uh, password that you're looking for on the app you can go into the built-in browser and start using that uh, so I'll show you that right now. So just staying on the whole Twitter theme, I'll go to twitter.com. You can you have a little bar here that you can uh, move up and down. And this button here will just bring you back so that you can take a look at your passwords. It's an easy app, simple to start using. It gets the job done. Again, it can have a little bit of a better interface, but for the most part, it does the job and it does it, does it well. I recommend everyone check out vPassword. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below, as well as subscribing so you're notified of my future videos. All right, I'll catch you later. See ya.